Today I introduce you to my one of my favorite company here in the valley and friend Carne from uh, Sprout, right? Yep. Sproutbuilder.com. What is the idea behind Sprout, Carne? Well, you know, it started as a really simple idea. We wanted to make building flash content really easy for uh, everyone. So uh, basically, this is Sprout Builder. It's a flex space uh, environment. And what this is, is a very simple drag and drop, WYSIWYG type uh, environment. Um, if you're familiar with PowerPoint or Photoshop, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, essentially, you have uh, what's called an asset manager, where you have all sorts of different assets, such as uh, images, video, audio, and even Swift for flash files. And really, it's as easy as dragging and dropping. You just bring the uh, asset wow. you want in. We also have a, a tools palette. So if you're, you're a Photoshop user, you'll be very familiar with it. What gave you the idea? Uh, we were actually building the tool for ourselves internally. We uh, started with a company huh? called Chipin Fundraising Widgets. And we were customizing widgets for people every single day. And I had like six developers. All they did was customize widgets. And so I went to my partner and said, there's got to be an easier way. And I was like, can't you do something like Photoshop or PowerPoint and you can just make this? And about three months later, he came back with a prototype and that's how we started Sprout. We have come out with a couple of new features uh, in this recent release that I think will interest you all. One is animations and effects. What we like to talk about is that we have a small footprint, but it can be very deep. I built this last night uh, just for fun because I met this artist. It took me probably about half an hour at most. I just grabbed a couple of images off a of website uh, and then just put this together. Music wise, um, I had to send me a couple uh, MP3s. Hmm. So there it is. And the cool thing is I can navigate through the different uh, songs that she has on her jukebox. To put my I can hit pause. And here, what you see, this flowing grass, this is just a Swift file that I brought in. Many people have ideas for yep. features. And when you say, oh, this is a company, this is a, this is a business opportunity. When we really looked at the marketplace, we saw that there was this huge gap. And so we spent about, you know, almost a year and a half building the technology. And I think, you know, we launched about two months ago and it's just really taken but off. Let me go back to uh, my preview and show you a couple other things. I can easily add new pages. So I hit new and it'll create a brand new page for me. But I can also drag and drop that page and reorder it. So in this case, let's put that new page at the end here. I get a nice blank page to work with. Again, it's got my master foreground, master background. What we also have are the concept of components, such as a calendar, which brings an iGoogle calendar, an iCal calendar. We've got countdowns, which is very easy. And of course, my favorite component are third-party components that we've integrated with. In particular, we've got Twitter, we've got Google Forms, where you can drop uh, data right into a Google spreadsheet. And of course, our most favorite at the office is the Seismic component. Again, with all components, you can resize it, you can modify it, and most importantly, you can change its properties. So here I'm just going to click on the Seismic property, put in my username, click OK. And what it's doing now, it's calling the Seismic API. It's bringing in all the threads of all the different conversations I've had. I can go to this user and look at all her threads. Uh, I can go back to my threads and see it from a timeline. Um, and soon uh, we should be able to reply and record right on uh, the Sprout itself. How do you convince investors that this is like a huge opportunity and not just like a feature? Yeah, um, I think really mainly, you know, being very lucky having angel investors the first round, they believed in the team. You know, they, everyone always says you invest in the people, not in the company. Yep. And I think we're the classic company. We came out with one idea, chip in. It didn't really pan out the way we thought it would pan. We came up with this other idea, did a little bit of marketing oh, so analysis. Oh, that, so that's a second idea. Yeah, this is a second idea See, for the company. See, that's a classic. I mean, that's amazing. Is you start with something, you even have investors, yep. and it, it doesn't work out exactly like this. You know, Skype started as a Wi-Fi sharing device. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, software, and they turned it into a communication system. Yeah, and YouTube was, what, a dating site or something when it I, started? Oh, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, it was a dating site So when that's it a perfect example. So you changed completely, interesting. Absolutely. And the publishing step takes everything that I've built and now compiles it with the distribution uh, method that I want. So it could be an ad, it could be a widget, so I can distribute with any of the widget distribution platforms, Gigia, ClearSpring, Spring Widgets, Widgetbox, or I can distribute with uh, several ad networks that we're uh, working with. Again, the distribution is really where the magic happens. Um, to, a couple other things I wanted to show you is we have the concept of reports. So we bring in really rich and robust reports. You can see how many of these have been copied, where they're located, what networks they're on. I could go there and say, okay, I want to track every time someone hits the play button or every time someone hits the thread button. And I can do that very easily by going back to my product. Let's say I want to track this video. I can click on it and I can go to links and tracking and I can say, I want to track every time that's clicked 
and I'm gonna call that my video tracking. So What's the business model or the expected business model, Karen? Uh, well, we've got a couple that we're really looking at. Uh, we're probably gonna have a, a simple subscription-based model. There's a, a branding right like now. A that's 10 bucks a month. Yeah, something really cheap. So if you don't want the branding, you pay. Exactly. Um, and then we're also working on a couple other uh, um, sort of larger business models, such as partnering. Uh, with Advertising the networks inside? Yep, exactly, cool. exactly. But no ads. There will never be an ad in the Sprout. No ads, no never. Ads, never. <laughs> oh, wait, are you recording this? <laughs> <laughs> so try, build, build your Sprout now and put it on your blog on your website it's very very cool and you can add your seismic videos in thank you very much yeah. Garnet all right thanks good luck okay cool here we go I'll let you go to the uh, web